Let's take a look at multiplying fractions. When we multiply fractions, if both fractions are in the form of improper fraction, not mixed numbers, then we can just multiply the numerators and it gives us our new numerator. We multiply the denominators and that gives us our new denominator. That's the answer. We may have to reduce the answer. Let's try this example. 1 times 2 is 2. That's our new numerator. 3 times 5 is 15. Our answer is 2 fifteenths. 2 fifteenths cannot be reduced, so that is the final answer. Here we have 3 quarters times 4 fifths. We could do cancelling, but that's not what this video is about. So I'm just going to multiply these fractions directly. 3 times 4 is 12, and 4 times 5 is 20. We have 12 twentieths. This fraction can be reduced because 12 and 20 have a common factor of 4. If we divide both the top and the bottom by 4, we get 3 fifths. That cannot be reduced further. That is our final answer. In this case, we have 1 and 2 thirds times 3 sevenths. 1 and 2 thirds is a mixed number. I want to convert it into an improper fraction before I do my multiplication. 1 times 3 is 3, plus 2 is 5. 1 and 2 thirds is equivalent to 5 thirds. When I do my multiplication, 5 times 3 is 15, and 3 times 7 is 21. Our answer is 15 over 21. But 15 and 21 have a common factor of 3, so If I divide both top and bottom by 3, I get 5 sevenths, and that is my final answer. Here, the second number is the mixed number, but I'm doing the same thing. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. The denominator remains the same. 2 and a quarter is equal to 9 quarters. Now I can multiply. 7 times 9 is 63 and 3 times 4 is 12. This one can be reduced and it can be converted back into a mixed number. I'm going to do the reduction first. 63 and 12 have a common factor of 3. Sixty-three divided by 3 is 21 and 12 divided by 3 is 4. 21 fourths is an answer but it is not my final answer because I want to convert it into a mixed number. 4 fits into 21 5 times, my big number is a 5, 21 minus 20 is 1, I have 1 left over, and the denominator remains the same. My final answer for this multiplication is 5 and a quarter. Multiplying fractions is quite straightforward. Top times top equals new top, bottom times bottom equals new bottom. But to do it, with many examples, we also have to be able to prove that we can convert a mixed number into an improper fraction. We can convert an improper fraction back into a mixed number to give our final answer in its most simplified form. And we often have to reduce fractions as well. 